hut here getting you all this sunrise here's where you get the massage on the beach Good morning and welcome to day four. If you have not watched the previous videos, you might want to go back and start there. So we are at Rosewater, which is one of the two preferred restaurants for breakfast. Got a little mimosa. Cheers. Cheers. So we just finished breakfast. It was very good. Um, I would rate mine uh, eight five. What would you rate yours? Probably like an eight seven. I had the two different toasts. It was delicious. Bit of a small menu there, but like so good. So, so far we've eaten everywhere for breakfast. I think we just have Market Cafe to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably try that tomorrow. How's your book? Pretty good so far. I think it's called 20 Years. And I'm only a couple chapters in, so I can't really give any kind of anything yet. But yeah, good so far. Hmm. Starting off the day with a delicious mango margarita with Don Julio Silver and some sugar rim. And we decided we're going to dine at the Mexican restaurant for dinner. So it's going to be Margs all day. Cheers. Passion fruit Margs. What people want to hear from you, Kev? It's delicious. Come here. I'm going to try out the margarita. Pine, strawberry, mango, passion fruit. Try to find a watermelon one later. We're going to try to find a watermelon one later. Tell us down below in the comments what your favorite margarita flavor is. Our first activity that we're doing today is the Larimar experience. It's at 11 o'clock on the beach and it's like a jewelry making. And we just made the cutoff. They allow 30 people and I believe we were 28 and 29. And it looks really fun. You like sand your little, you know, the piece of Larimar and then you pick out the necklace that you want and I'm really excited to check it out. Our third flavor of Mark's today is a fresh watermelon margarita, a nice sugar rim. It is so fresh and delicious.
We came over to Seaside Grill for lunch. There's so much going on. We got some beautiful pineapple margaritas. Kevin got a table side like Irish coffee. We got some fresh bread cut. We bought, we bought, <laughs> we ordered all sorts of appetizers. Beautiful day. How is it? Got whipped cream all over ya. <laughs> Fish tacos and a bacon and egg burger. Yeah. Looks good. Tell me about your bathing suit today. So my bathing suit today is from Basco. Brittany picked it up. So we're doing a little bit of uh, live music out here on the beach. We'll uh, get a little peek of that. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. Nachos, cheese, and guacamole were just ate, but when in Rome. I think lunch was really uh, actually good. The service was top notch, excellent. Um, I think that was the best thing. The food, the appetizers were, were okay. Um, I think they probably could have been cooked a little longer. My entree, the cheeseburger with the egg on it, fried egg, was very good. Their burgers here are way better than like Mexican burgers. Uh, almost like American ones. So they're very good. Uh, I rate the lunch like an 8, 3 out of 10. I also thought the lunch was really good. It is right next to the pool, so you have a really great view of the pool and the beach. Service was good. If I was rating it solely on the bread that came around, it would be like a 9.9. .9. Delicious fresh bread sliced in front of you. There are different sauces to choose from. There's like an onion garlic sauce that is not to be missed. I could just eat an entire meal of that. And I thought all the appetizers were good except for the calamari. I thought that was really chewy and I would not order that again. I got the fish tacos just like I had yesterday. Those were good. I liked everything. I would probably give it maybe like an 8.4. I think it's a solid option and I'm glad that we went. Pool volleyball started. I'm gonna go over there now. We'll see you soon. coconut margarita and if my memory serves me I think this is flavor number five today. Getting a little dark. Looks like a storm's gonna be rolling in. It's about 5 p.m. We left the pool just in time. It's pouring. It's hard to see rain but it's pouring. So Brittany's just getting ready still. I'm gonna get a, a drink at the preferred lounge. It's kind of turning into a nightly ritual, so. We're going to the Mexican tonight. My bodysuit is from Express, and my pants are from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And I know a lot of people skip the Mexican restaurants, not just here, but like everywhere. I think as Americans, we're very used to Tex-Mex, and so when we eat at resorts, it's not exactly the same as what we get at home. And I do agree with that to an extent, but I actually love El Patio. I, I don't know, it's not even just about the food, it's about, for me, I equate like Mexican and margaritas to like fun and lively so I just always look forward to it and I think it's always just such a fun night. It's just a totally different experience than going to like the French Bordeaux restaurant which is a little more stuffy. So I'm not here to tell you definitely eat at the Mexican restaurant, I'm just here to say don't write it off. is from Kohl's and my shorts are from Costco. Very relaxed fitting and it's great. And you can wear shorts at the Mexican restaurant everyone. 
And that's Kevin's OOTD. And um, we, uh, we match. Matchy, matchy. All right, we got our umbrella. It's starting to rain again. Not as hard, but it's raining. It's a big can see us. over here. It's 7.30, so hopefully there's not too long of a wait. Usually peak time is between like 7.30 and 8.30 at night. Estás, mami, te quería preguntar Como remix si estás pa' mí Si estás para los demás Mi amor no pare Que te hicieron Que mueve el movimiento Eso significa que tu cuerpo también Me han contado que a ti te gusta lento O sea el proceso, me imagino lo otro también Cuando te va a ver Hace mucho fue que me disfruto Y eres más que yo dinner at the preferred lounge. The bartender Jeffrey is top notch. Then we went over and we saw the Blues Brothers show, but let's talk about dinner. So what did you think about dinner? Uh, dinner was excellent. Uh, excellent service, drinks, food, everything. Um, the chips that we started off with obviously were great. Um, our appetizers were great. Um, and then the food was was great. I had if the, you say it's the, great one more time, the chicken, Kevin. The chicken uh, burrito was fried chicken, and I had the steak tacos. And how was, what'd you have? I had the governor shrimp, and I thought it was phenomenal. So it might be an unpopular opinion, but honestly, I really loved El Patio. And um, my dish was like a chipotle shrimp tacos, and it was excellent like so good i would probably rate it like my overall meal like an eight nine and then you gotta try the churros out though for dessert yeah we had churros rice pudding were excellent i didn't really love the trace leches cake but like what are you gonna do but i thought the restaurant yeah. was really good what would you rate it one to ten eight eight i don't know what would you rate it i said eight nine. Oh, you said eight nine yeah i think that's what i said i guess we'd have to go back and look at the footage but i think that's what i said so Definitely don't skip El Patio. I thought it was great. So, I think there's some live music in the lobby. This place is packed. We're like literally all the way. We're like yeah. at the front where you check in. do it for day four thank you so much for watching if you're new here please subscribe so you can see the rest of our vacation give the video a thumbs up and we will see you real soon for day five bye guys brit's on the phone <laughs> best life here at the Mexican El Patio. How's yours? Mine's excellent. Superb. Yeah.